He likes it that way. Exactly. <clears throat> Let's get right on into it, shall we? It's been a while. Energy's coming out. We're all listening to Seabat. Life is good, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm all sitting to Slade's, my friend. Fuck you. I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> Session at... big one, two, three. Coming out. How oh, great. After delivering the cursed relic, and we are going back just a touch, the party headed back to the Explorer's Circle, where they were antagonized by a human after taking a new quest. The group started heading towards their next quest and managed to suss out that they were being followed. And Norori managed to lead the party into a dead end where they were ambushed and they promptly, the party, dispatched the thugs. Moving on. They then went to their next quest. Well, original, anyways. After tying them up, after they were unconscious, and this quest was a mystery riddle of sorts, something to challenge the minds of everyone. And as they were looking for clues, they were ambushed for real. But this time it was by slightly stronger automatons. Phoebe was struck a heavy blow, but the party managed to keep them away so that she could protect the group properly. Thrax absorbed a majority of the blows, even going down a few times, but he managed to get back up with his feet at the help of his party. Celebrations were in order after they managed to fend off the attackers and got what they were after. Nori explained that there was a nice place to eat nearby and that she would treat them to a meal since they allowed her to be a part of the examination with them. And everyone eventually went to sleep in Norori's apartment where everyone will be take, would have taken a long rest. If you have not done that, now is the We are going to go ahead, start day off. We're going to rewind the clock a little bit. You see, we're not waking up exactly when we think we are. It's right around 4 o'clock, maybe 4.30-ish. I'm going to set the, time, the clock up properly. Around 4.30, all of a sudden, every single one of you is awoken by a loud BOOM in the area. And you're all startled awake. What the fuck just happened? Immediately, you smell the sense of Damn it. smoke. <laughs> and kill, kill, answer. You hear oh, people slow. in the background, people coming out of their, their beds. Doors creaking, windows opening, people murmuring. Suddenly you hear a scream. <gasps> you want to turn off suppression? You hear a scream. Ah. Uh... <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. <coughs> That's the spirit. Ask someone who doesn't sleep and would have been staring out the window, if not at my party while they slept. <laughs> Which, which one are you staring at? Tell me right now. Uh, all of them. Are you staring at I the party or are you staring outside? I'm more excited I'm to hear what you Staring out do. the window, but I feel like every other hour I'd look at the party and be like, wow, they're still just laying there. Kind of weird. And roll, then a, back up roll, the window. roll a perception check. Uh, that didn't even roll. That just... I dropped a dice. You see <laughs> a flash in the distance. You see someone hit the ground and then someone run off. It's all dark. No detail. Did you see that too, that my dice just fell? It didn't roll. Yeah. Or it just, it just, fucking it just went. That happens well, sometimes. I was Anthony roll ever. <laughs> Can I have the settings do that all the time? I kind of like it. <laughs> no. Figure settings. I'm figuring this out. So. What are we doing? Are we just going back to bed? Totally an option. Uh, are, we, are we fully rested? Yes. <clears throat> I think Phoebe would be like really startled and super curious as to what's going on. Sorry. Oh, I slept in really Sorry, late. This is 
your home, by the way, and I should mention, this is beyond not the norm. Uh, in fact, you've never heard anything like this happen nearby your home. Uh, I'm well aware. I'm waiting for everyone to Wonderful. do what they're going to do really quickly, and then I'll step in and say something. Uh, but if everyone's concluded, uh, as soon as the loud bang happens, uh, questions is there any what's what's uh what does it sound currently like is there any noise anybody screaming any uh sound on the outside is there any smell is there smoke there was, is there anything of the sort like that going on there was a a single scream um it's kind of far away at this point uh you kind of look out the window you kind of put your ear to the wall um it seems it's far away, but a couple of your neighbors have, you know, stepped outside to take a look kind of thing. A couple of people have opened up the windows and are leaning out. Um, a couple of people go back inside, et cetera, et cetera. You know, you know how it is. Do you really want to go see what happened or? Yes. Do you want to stay uh, inside the safety of your home. Kind of that idea for, for other people to. Creak the door open, see if there's anyone beyond. You look the, out, it looks like a. As far as you can see, there's like a little turn that goes out, um, but you don't see anything immediately. You just see people out on the street kind of looking, and it, you see somebody do this, and they immediately shut the door. Um, I turn back to the... You can't see anything because of the angle. I turn back to the rest of the group. Well, that's not usual. Uh, I'm going to go ask around if you want to stay here and for a relative... Safety. I understand. Uh, I will I just take come. a few moments. There may be another team's tag that we can get. That's the spirit, big guy. The only person I can communicate to right now is Thrax. I come to. <laughs> right. Oh, good. I, 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 I see Anter skitter, <laughs> skittering up. I go, oh, nice. <laughs> well, what about you? Do you want to come? Sure. The hive is under All attack. Right. Protect. <laughs> And <laughs> everyone's going. You, right. Okay, I guess. Uh, well, you might need a healer. <laughs> Most likely. Uh, let's ask the neighbors and see what's happening. You all trudge out of bed, some quicker than others, as you start walking forward. Uh, you're just asking your immediate neighbor? Or uh, <clears throat> I'll first ask the first few people I can see who might have made me witness something. If not, uh, if they're all giving basically the general same answer, it's just most likely best to... Something happened further down the road. Um, I I think it's not something I'm going to get into. You're really nosy <laughs> neighbor across the street. It's like, I saw the whole thing. I saw all of it. There was a man walking around here. You know the one. I don't like him very much. I don't like him at all. Trevin. I bet he did it. And you're like, okay. <laughs> All right. Brevin. Got it. Run. Run <laughs> you to the just hill. Keep going. <laughs> Understood. Can't be killed. Ian, uh, at this time, I would actually like to be going up a couple flights and try to ask the people in that area to see if maybe they had an advantage to, uh, okay. to maybe see something a little bit more. You, um,. So are you staying in the same building or are you going to try same, to go Same building, building, same building okay. so that I can quickly get back you, to the group, but just going up. You you go up, 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 up. Um, we'll just say you get to the absolute top of this sure. uh, little apartment and you get up and you, you overlook and you're looking um, from the vantage point. You can see uh, that a couple of doors are open and there's a, a small gathering of people outside. What, what is happening? And there's a small gathering I'm of people enter. outside. <laughs> yeah, so it's a giant uh, cockroach. Cosplay. No, nah, bro, you gotta you gotta flip your glasses upside down for that. <laughs> um, and as you were looking at everyone out there, uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, there. There, <laughs> there, <laughs> there we go. Um, so yeah, um, um, I'm sorry, missed. As you were looking out, yes. you see there's a small gathering of people around, but not really anything you can decipher. They're they're pretty far away. They're like, you know, down the block. You can see a bit. It's 4.30 in the morning. It's dark as shit. Like, 
clearly you can't see anything, but people are out there. Uh, destruction. <laughs> is there any like immediate None. looks of? None. But there was a, just a loud bang. There's a loud bang. There's a and gathering a flash. Of people outside. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna. I'm just gonna fucking bolt downstairs back to Nori. Yeah. Uh, okay. And I'll relay my information. Uh, Luke, you wanted to do something, didn't you? Um, uh, uh, just, 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 just a clarifying question in case it comes up later. On what floor is Nori's apartment? First. Sweet. Oh. Fucking, I ran up them stairs. <laughs> yeah, you did. Should have rolled Listen a D8. Up. That would have been where it was. <laughs> yeah. Some word you're never going to memorize. <laughs> you know what? Oh. Hey, Hunter, do me a favor. I will yeah. want you to roll me a D8 plus two. That's how many floors you ran up. <laughs> yep. This is God. an eight-story building. Oh, eight floors. Eight there he stairs. goes. Fuck, bro. <laughs> You got know. that conditioning. Listen, it, it, sliding down. It, it could be an important yes. question for later if we have to jump out the window. <laughs> Someone question. should write this down because I literally won't. Anyways. Oh, I uh, did. Of course you did. And you are all walking. Uh, Nori, this is your turf, your homeland. Um, please. If only I was a rogue. When, you said you were going uh, to Ranger. talk with people. Um <laughs> What exactly do you mean by that? Who are you trying to to talk to? Do you know Do you know anyone around here specifically? Or uh, just literally basically, the first person that you can see. Or are you not, just going to see the actual action? Uh, heading towards where the sound came from. Uh, okay. As we're heading there, if there's anyone that's like kind of rushing away, it's just like, hey, what's mm. what's going on over there? Uh, what's happening? Sort of deal. You uh, see the person running away from Kavach, um, you know, from Oblivion. They're running away, and you you stop them, and they go, "We're under attack." No, uh, they they look at you <laughs> and they go, um, oh. "There was, uh, there was." Um, the real campaign starts now. It's 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 kind of <laughs> gruesome over there. I'm I'm just gonna go back home. I wouldn't if well. He kind of looks at the rest of you. Maybe you're more equipped to deal with it than any of us. Um, I'm good. And he leaves. But he doesn't want to talk. He was like, that's yeah. what's going on. Go there at your own, own discretion. I, I'm not answering any questions. It's four o'clock in the morning. Kind of response. Uh, if n everyone else is like that, because at this point, yes. if it's just a gruesome thing, um, trying to act, I'm trying to think <laughs> of a quick question to at Watch. least get a bit a tiny bit of information without actually stopping people. You uh, are maybe four houses away from the turn, and at the turn, you're gonna like it's see there. It. Okay, <clears throat> uh, I will say to the party as we're going there. I know this might not be. Uh, as important to all of you, but there are good people here. I just want to make sure that they're okay. We might yeah. be able to earn bonus points. We Maybe. all would have heard that it was like gruesome, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, no one really <laughs> describes it. Like they describe it the exact way that I just did. They're just like, there's, I it's bad. Yeah, it's bad. That. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. I, I look at. Thrax. I don't want to talk about it. I, like, Maybe good points. You've been in this city. You might get brownie Sorry, points ahead, for me, big guy. But that's about it. What's a brownie? <sighs> Go ahead, Mitch. <laughs> Some kind of fairy, actually. There's, there is. Um, what annoying. Most of y'all have been in this city. Two of y'all have been in. Three of y'all. Most of y'all have been in the city long enough to at least understand. That there's some wacky shit that goes on in some maybe darker channels or maybe in some alleys. It's a city after all. You're basically like in, you know, high scale New York, right? Like not upscale, yeah. just big New York. <coughs> We're in Night City. We did it. You're in Night City. Shit happens in this place. So hearing that, some of you, maybe it's fine. Maybe somebody just got shot. <laughs> 
to some of you, holy shit, maybe somebody got shot. That's a... Depends on your character. <laughs> that's a, that's I would take I would take a small moment to like look down at Phoebe for a second. You wanted to be a healer, right? Mm, I I just wanted to come along and possibly help. Maybe somebody is hurt. I want to try to prepare you for the possibility that there is. So you may see some things that don't look very good, may look very dangerous. It is important to act quickly and calmly. I mean, if I can do it with Thrax, I, I can help other people. I trust you. If you need anything, ask. All right. So this time you all make it to the last building and you hang a right and you see a large gathering of people. Maybe, maybe about a dozen. You walk up and none of them are really saying anything. They're all just looking at the ground. And on the ground there lays single person, the bullet wound in their chest, blood on the ground. Edgar. As you all walk up, a man comes out from the crowd, walks up to you all with a stopwatch, <laughs> clicks it, and looks at you all and goes, 13 minutes and 7 seconds. All right, everybody. These right here are your new saviors today. Everybody looks at all of you solemn faces. The people here, everybody, in case we're all aware and all the good people out and about, they have seen what's going on and they do understand exactly what is going on. This here has been a murder, if you will. And this murder... You have, and he clicks it again and looks at it, one hour to solve this murder. Congratulations to the people who just showed up. You clearly are founders so looking for this new off. exam. And this right here is a bonus place for you to get bonus points. So listen up, clear your ears out, be start paying attention. You got one hour. Figure out what's going on right here. It's a little bit hey, of a Connor. murder mystery if you could, all right? So, I'm going to right. bolting to the body. You, you all see right. yeah, there you go, little one. Look, there's quick, an actual... Quick to the Look at him. The Rory's actually very... One hour. <laughs> there's a <laughs> mixture of relief and anger because she's like, you disturbed all these people for this who are going about their days and then she's like at least no one actually got hurt <laughs> one hour on the clock 540 period or 543 hard cut off solve the mystery <sighs> all right um <laughs> quick look That's around different. Quick look around. Where uh, is there any? There's obvious signs of like fight of any kind, any any debris, and like give me give me some looks. What does this alleyway look like? Only perception check. You're running real fast. You're trying to see what you can. Looking around. That about no, catches. No, I don't, I don't You're see looking shit. around. It's dark. It's four thirty in the morning. It is dark. People are looking around. Maybe there's a couple of people. Some people after the the announcement were made start to go home. Um. Can I search the body? Sure I can. will can I assist her. Investigate the body. You sure can. I'll investigate <laughs> something about the body. <laughs> you sure may. All Listen right. up. We're gonna go with Phoebe first. Phoebe, you start looking at the body. Uh, it looks to be a. Um, uh, you're, you're looking at this person. As you're starting to look at him a little bit more, you hear. A <laughs> as you like, kind of like poke their side, kind of like hit them in the tickle spot, and then they just lay. <laughs> <laughs> Phoebe giggles and that's I'm dead. what she does. She she immediately puts her hand up to her cover like I'm, dead. Like, I'm, I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. And it's just a, a a young girl and now she 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 was she looked dead a second ago but now it's just like okay. All right. You start looking, she goes uh and and you start like trying to figure out what's going on. The moment you get close to her neckline to see she goes the bullet wound. I was shot. <laughs> and I'm dead. 
<laughs> she just continues to lay there. Uh, but there's uh, nothing left on her person that could like identify her or. Um... To you, Phoebe, no, because you are more worried about the bullet wound and you're more excited about this tiny child now giggling. Funnily enough, Funnily enough, enter as you walk up, you having zero regard for the person at all. As she starts to giggle, you reach down, grab at her clothes and start picking it up and start filing in her pockets. And you're just like, what do we have in here, you little gremlin? <laughs> her eyes completely closed. She has no idea the horrors or what is happening to her right now. Phoebe, something that you immediately notice is that she is wearing a very um, uh, tight, like, like, very closed off clothes underneath this. So if anything happens, you know, she's safe. So she's just happy. It makes Phoebe herself feel a little safer. She's, you know, she's covered up. She's good to go. And as I'm saying this, this there's a reason I'm saying this. It's because Anter, being the disgusting cretin that he is, like basically pulls at her pants and is just like taking them off, just about like trying to rifle through her pockets and everything. Enter with your 20 investigation, though, your fucking meaty little tendrils. You reach in there and you pull out a single um, golden chain. And as you look at it, this golden chain has a, the letter D on it. Dave. Try not to throw up. As I see Enter do this. And I look at the person laying down and go, I'm so sorry. I'm dead. <laughs> I tell my three friends that are linked to me, Mist, Phoebe, and Thrax. Actually, I don't think I'm connected to Mist. You uh, are. I, I accept it at one point. I five. show my sweet gold D chain. <laughs> me? Gold uh, chain. Good clue. I'd, li I'd like, like to <laughs> fiddle around with it. See, like pop it sure, open, and see if there's any. You know. Hand it on over. Yeah, no, it's it's like it's it's a chain, and it has lead D on there. Um, Neat. Okay. Axe is going to stand directly over the body, to like looking at her where the bullet wound is, and then just go 180 and start looking okay. for a good. You do notice spot. that, like every time she like gets moved, she will always go back to the exact same position. That was one of the things so I was going to look at. Yep, it's good on Which you. Which way did she fall you, over? Uh, you start looking at that threat, so I'm not even going to make you roll because you immediately suss that out. Um, and you immediately notice that there's a, a couple of people that are standing right at that area looking around. Mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you start walking up. First person you see a woman dressed in black has a long brimmed hat with a mesh guard in front of it. Clearly a widow. The other person that you see, funnily enough, is a, uh, a tabaxi man looking at you more tired, sheepish that he was awake at this hour. And then you see a woman and a young child and the woman kind of pulling the child away from the area. You see a couple other people close their doors in the distance. Is anyone... I'm assuming the answer is no, but I'm going to check if anyone's armed and if anyone has a place to hide a weapon. <laughs> Roll a perception check. Unless you'd like to get a little closer, start talking with them, and try to get them to open up their arms and Try to persuade them in a way that gets them vulnerable and starts talking, to where you can see better identifying marks on the person. But otherwise, for right now, roll perception check at disadvantage. Oh, disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Unless he does it again? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> still good, still good. You're eyeing everybody up and down. You're a warrior. You've been in combat. You've seen things before. No one here seems to have the caliber of a warrior that you're accustomed to. But if this was done by a firearm, you know that that's a coward's weapon. Not really in particular, more along the lines of it takes no skill, no finesse, no nothing. Simply pull a trigger, boom, dead. You're looking at these people. Do any of them have the courage, the muscle, anything along those lines? You're looking at their pockets. You're looking at the hem of their pants. 
<laughs> looking to see if they can hide anything anywhere. These three people, no, they don't look like they have anything. That doesn't mean a lot, though, as they could probably potentially discard it. However, their immediate you know, looking over them doesn't look like they could have done it. I think we Anyways, have as flowing. I was about to fucking double down on what you said, but you do it. Yeah, it's like I want to see the way the body fell, but everyone's like, "Oh, we're gonna do this, gonna do this." Like, I'll just wait. <laughs> yep. Flowing, you look and you see the way that the body fell. It mm -hmm. falls at a certain angle. You're yeah. looking at her. I've seen what happened exactly. when uh, exactly. I've seen what happened when Phoebe exactly. shoot something because she shot something that was directly in front of me. It went like, "Oh, bullet! Bang!" Went to the side. Like, ah. Oh. Bullet come from this direction, body go that direction. So I see body go this direction, bullet must come from that direction. I will let you roll an investigation check. Just straight. Oh boy. If I you were literally anyone else, I might give this. you advantage. I know, right? <laughs> yep. That's about on brand. <laughs> That's body it fell, honest to God. She could have spun. <laughs> uh... uh... I'm not good at investigating things. That's why I'm looking. This is rough. <laughs> I would just like a quick clarification on what has been found, and that's it. There is a D-lettered um, gold chain. Gold chain that we have that Anter found, and then uh, and there's and there's. Were there any witnesses? Looks to be about a several people around the body right now. Maybe you should okay. ask. Um, as well as three people that I have walked towards in the vague direction mm -hmm. of where the bullet came from. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm uh, to get something very bizarre and specific. Where? So we know she got shot in like the chest or whatever. Is it look like it was a shot from like? down and up or up and down like i want to figure out how tall our shooter what a is. wonderful question you look at this lady as you rolled high on your investigation check earlier this uh this woman she is short maybe she is about if you had to guess maybe 14 15 years old probably right around four foot ten maybe maybe five foot almost everybody at this height would probably be you know at least higher than them yeah and so someone probably shot down to, at her this seems to be about right however this person specifically wouldn't be super tall as the bullet wound itself as you're thinking about it anter if you were to shoot this woman it would be slightly askew like this someone maybe not right on but maybe only a little curvature Nothing like this. Yeah. Nothing like a taller person would. And definitely no one like this. But slightly angled. Sure, it's a good thing people slightly. don't know how to hit fire guns. Well, what kind of bullet hole is it? You say that out loud as you take a knee and you go to poke at her. And all of a sudden, a, a bullet casing falls out of her blouse and, ding, 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 and it kind of rolls out. <laughs> I looked That's like a nylon looked for but I, I didn't know how to... <laughs> Nine millimeter. That. Pistol. Nine millimeter. That's a good place to put it. <laughs> Thraxes, <laughs> you walk up to these people. Which of the three would you like to immediately converse with? You said that the woman and child are starting to leave? Yeah, she's kind of like backing the kid away. I will just look at her and say, stay. <laughs> okay. Little kid just looks at you. Just What's like kid? a tiny child just doesn't understand. Vax, yeah. um, go ahead, please. Continue. I see you. We'll come back to you. Um... He's just going to like address all of them and be like, "Did anyone see what happened?" 
I'm so glad you asked. The woman wearing all black with the mesh covering, the long brimmed hat, clearly a widow walks to you and goes, I saw everything. You see the woman with the child just go from just to immediately the tabaxi to her right just goes, I The damn saw paid actors are she's she's oh my goodness. It. I saw the most horrible, evil, and terrible, terrible sight. Oh, it was horrible. Her life has been small easy. Girl. Continue. A small, small girl <laughs> simply walking the streets. And a man came out. Maybe it was a man. He was in all oh, dark. Or maybe she. And she came out. He came out. They came out. Fired a gun. Bang! Such a loud noise. So scary. Woke me up in the middle of the night. A fright I had. Oh, woe is me. I was having sweet dreams about my late husband. Bless his soul. If you don't mind me asking, how did you see who walked up and be woken up from your sleep? She looks at you. Um... Well, <laughs> flips through the scripts. Uh, oh, it was the just fire? the worst nightmare I've ever had. Oh, what was me? <laughs> Pulls the brim of her hat down a little bit. <laughs> the thing I'm trying to get you, I to go with Rex. Mm. I want to listen. Pulls her, pulls her hand out like this, head down a little bit. Missed you. Come up to Thrax after hearing the commotion. Thrax is going to look at the hand. Look up. Look at the hand. Not understand. To be like... You shake it. Oh. Please be gentle. I'm so free. She goes <laughs> to grab your hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh my... <laughs> Up and up well, and down. You, it's a, it's an up and down. Just, okay, all no. right. No, no, no. Thank, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, yes, I. It was horrible to say the least. Foul, off. They're actually just gonna like finish oh. looking at her and just look at the tabaxi. Like, yeah, next. I'm looking over to <laughs> <at> the tabaxi. <laughs> you both look over to the tabaxi. As you do show, she she kind of like gets up in your face. She's like, no, no, it was the worst thing. And then the tabaxi kind of walks away. It, it was quite horrible. Yes, it was a gruesome thing to wake up to. It was. It, yes, yes. Thank you, Cassandra. Yes, it was truly horrible. Awful. There was a bang. I woke up and looked outside and suddenly there was a girl. I came downstairs, looked, and saw, and there she was, dead. That's all I have. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be much use here. I was actually about to go inside. If you don't mind, I need you to stay uh, for investigative purposes. I can Look, man, I have work at 6 o'clock in the morning. This I is part of the founder's exam. I'm sure that you... Maybe. Look, whenever I signed up to be a part of this bullshit, I didn't know it was going to be this early in the morning. And they certainly didn't tell me it was going to be a murder mystery. So here I am. I apologize. But can I just go back into my room and sleep for the small 30 minutes that I have left? I pat Thrax on the arm. Well, do you have he a wants, script? He wants to leave. <laughs> there is. I don't know. I don't have a script. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna turn to look at the next person. <laughs> yep, the woman and the child. Does what that do you mean I can go me? back to bed, or like, am I still here? You're I can't still. leave until I'm Possible dismissed. Possible to insight him? You sure can. No one else can, though. <laughs> you sure? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'll let I'll let you do Nora if you want. I've been standing near ahead. Phoebe yeah, the whole ahead, time. Ahead. I don't know. <laughs> Phoebe Nori. Roll it up. I'll give you a advantage on it. There you go. Okay. 
needed. He just looks really tired and over the whole fucking thing. <laughs> This is genuinely a civilian that just got wrapped up into this and just didn't realize what he was signing up for. So So. Phoebe will walk up to Mist and kind of tug tug his sleeve and go. Hmm? He's good. Room number. Huh? Room number. 302. Okay. You can go. Thank you. The heavens above. And he <laughs> just walks away. Uh, uh, if you could get bonus points for me, you'll get it after this. God damn. And he just wanders off. I would ask one of you, um, because I believe Anter has the gold chain, right? I gave it to Mist, actually. I have it. Ah. May I examine the chain quickly? I've taken a look at it myself, but you're more than welcome. And I will hand it to her. Okay. The man that came out whenever you first saw him walks out with a golden uh, ticker and he goes, 20 minutes have passed! I just want to let y'all know, 20 minutes have passed! Good luck! And he just walks off. Very nice. Um, I will ask you then, miss, very quickly, uh, before I even attempt to do anything. What did you determine from looking at this gold chain? It's a gold chain with a letter D on it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> take take as much look as you want. Yeah. Is there any identifying markers on it, like a stamp or anything that might be on the chain itself? There's a letter D on it. Yeah. Besides that, like you, the maker. Yeah, who... an investigation check. Sure. I could do that. But would you... Help, if that's... Yes, would you... Would would you well, no. Would you allow a... A fucking, uh, you know, smithing check? I, mean, uh, I, I, I will... A uh, what? Ch- a smithing check? Mm-hmm. I... I will. Why oh. not? I'll That's... Check. And I'll even give you advantage because Miss is going to be helping you. Oh, you're. Let's go. You're so, you're so kind. <laughs> you're okay, so. You're Because so, it, it's, you know. You do have to. You do have to not hide that, though. That's that's the. Yeah, hold on. I could always reveal it to everyone. A 24. I'm okay. just so used to keeping everything private. You know what I mean? Right. I <laughs> <laughs> Nori, as you are looking at this up and down, looking at this chain as implicitly as you possibly can, you get to the D, and as you're looking at it, you're, you're staring at it, you see a mark on it, um, one that you've seen before. People bring a lot of things in that maybe they shouldn't into your shop. One of them is fake jewelry, and they always like to ask you if it's real or not. You know this brand well. It's fake as shit. This is clearly a prop that's been set up here for you all to look at. And it also contains the letter D. Probably worth no more than maybe two silver. I was hoping a little for a little more than that, but that's fine. This chain came from the girl, right? Yeah, correct. Out of her was pocket. she wearing it or was she clutching it? In her pocket. It was in her pocket. When she was shot, does it... This is part of the questioning. And I can't fucking really ask answers. I will ask for the assistance of all of you to translate. Oh, no. Was... Where was she shot from? How was she shot? We relay. Answer. I didn't think about that. It was a it was a nine millimeter casing, a little above her, probably not like more than like like same plane of field, but probably someone taller. I look at Slightly all taller. of I look at all of you as I'm going through this thought process. I'm going. Well, if she's playing uh, either somebody transporting 
this as a symbol or a thief who pocketed it, but I would like to think that if she was a thief who stole this and the person that she stole it from caught her in the act of stealing and shot her, they would have retrieved the stolen good. So then the question now begins to wonder, is she tra- was she transporting this as a symbol or a sign of some sort? The real you hear question. Cassandra in the background go, My Lord! I can't bear to look any longer. I have to go sit down. She goes and sits. Horrible. You hear a bunch of people groan. The the woman and child. Mm-hmm. Uh how tall is the woman in comparison to our victim? The woman is a little taller, maybe about 5'8". Significantly taller, about a foot, just about. So she's 5'8". The child, maybe like four years old. I'm uh, not really suspecting the kid. But... Mm. You can go up Always. to if you like. Child, I'm waiting for, wait for George to do his thing. That was the only question mm. I had. Uh, no, I, the question was posed to me, and I don't have an answer for this, but I'm sure maybe you do, Mitch. Uh, <laughs> what street do we uh are we near? Like, is there a name for the street? Gunpoint Norori's House Street. That's what I thought. I'm pretty sure the D doesn't signify any location. Now, my I piggybacking on that. Does the D sig uh? Is there any prominent figures in the area that uh, their names start with D? Or you maybe... Ask. Not to be a shit, but you literally can't know because no one's going to walk up and go, here's my name, except for one very loud, obnoxious woman. I think it's because he's living in the area. It's like, is there any names? Like, oh, he's you learned You do not know no. a single one of these people. No, no. If all he's saying actors. as asking me, I'm just going. I'm asking yeah, you. I, I, I don't know. Fuck. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Norori, he's asking me. Like, he's, oh, going, he's going. Hey, what is the street around here? I'm going. It's this gunpoint Norori yeah. Street. I know it's weird. Yeah, this is Sesame. Street. That my name's up there, but goddamn, this, <laughs> there this it is, is. This is Sesame Street, brother. This is fucking. This is Rainbow Road. This is whatever right. the fuck you want it to be. Um, but like, go ahead. The, but there is no like prominent figure like like drug dealer Dan or anyone. No, that... there is no drug dealer Dan. You know what? Let's take a head count. Let's look around. You see a woman wearing a black brim, large mesh. We already know her. Cassandra. Cassandra. You look over, you see a tabaxi finally walking inside to go to bed. Don't worry about him. He's just tired. You look over, you see a woman and her child. She is bringing the child away from the area she doesn't want her child to see a dead body regardless Mm -hmm. of what's going on you see a large man sitting on the side with a big pot belly he has a butcher's cleaver at his side and it looks like that he's been awake the entire night he looks agitated that he's even here you look over you see a farmer long lanky strong straw hat looking at the butcher they both seem to be bickering at each other you see a human. It looks just, like he'd rather be anywhere else. Let's just do a, a cop suit thing. and tie. Looking around, annoyed at the situation. He's sitting there tapping his foot. Tap, 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 tap. Let's tap. just do basic police work. Okay. Sure. Get names. Names and ask to Alibis. see. Alibis. Ask to see. Uh, Ask to see any personal belongings if they're willing to show them. Mm -hmm. If not, further investigation may be needed. Uh, Phoebe, I will. I will will need you to help me. What's this, Phoebe? I will need you to help me talk to people. If all, okay. if at all possible. I want to go. I also want to do a little bit of investigative work by talking to people, but I want to do. On the other side. So, like, 
No worry, it goes one way. I want to take Thrax with me somewhere else. What I'm going to... What I'm going to do with Phoebe, if you're okay with this, Phoebe, unless you have a different idea, is just we'll get names and ask to see uh, their belongings really quickly to make sure that they, the the casing was a 9 millimeter, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a small caliber weapon. Mm -hmm. See if we can look at their belongings, uh, if at all. Uh, the... The gunpoint entry was at an angle like this, like that. She was. They were slightly, slightly. taller than our victim. Slightly, slightly taller. taller, and who looks slightly taller than our victim? Uh, just a cursory glance. At a cursory glance, uh, immediately the woman and child. Uh, she's <clears throat> clearly. It's always a the woman and taller. child. You, you turn over. You see. Where is Rachel? Where is she? <laughs> <laughs> you, you you see the um, the businessman. He seems to be a little bit taller than uh, a couple of the people here. Maybe right around six foot. Um, there's it. also a very very tall half orc um, that a lot of people are looking at very angrily as he is here. Actually, okay. Those so. Are Probably the main people of note, as the butcher and the farmer are pretty lanky motherfuckers. Well, the farmer, very lanky. The butcher, actually, a little shorter. The butcher, I apologize, I didn't read his height. He's five foot five. Just He's average. Uh, <laughs> Do you want to go take the woman and child, and Thrax and I can go take the butcher? As long as we get everyone's names and we look at their personal belongings and if they look like they're trying to hide something, which will be a constant perception check. All friends who are linked to me, please ask people about the chain in the D. And of course we will ask about the chain in the D if that information is. I was gonna ask well. if anyone I was gonna ask if anyone knew our victim as well. The big We're gonna go D. ahead and start we're going to start with Phoebe. Phoebe, who are we going up and talking with first? Because I know you're going with Nolori and Thrax, correct? Or no, 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 um, you're going with Nolori. I'm going, going with, with Nolori, and I just want to yeah. confirm with Nolori if starting with the woman and child is a good start. As good as any. Okay. Uh, I will go talk to them. Mm -hmm. I'll be right by your okay. side. I'm not very good at talking with people. Okay. You walk up to this woman and child. Um, the woman looks at you. She's crossing her hands over her son's chest. You see Hi. Neat smile. Hello. Hi, my um, name is Phoebe, and I'm working with the founders, or trying to take the founders exam, and I am going to just ask a couple of questions, if that's okay with you. Okay. That's more than fine. Okay, we'll be happy awesome. to help in any way that we can. The little kid looks up to you and he goes, Hi, Phoebe! I like your horns! And she goes, Okay, all right, you have a lot of energy right now. This <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> That's really kind of you. Um, well, what's course, your name? Uh, my name's Steven! It's him. <laughs> and then, uh, what is your um, mother? Mother? I'm assuming it's your mom. My mom's name! Um, Mom, what's your name again? She just kind of smiles and looks at him. I'm Stephanie. Stephanie. Yes. Um, Stephanie and, and Stephen. Did Stephanie? I, I, uh, and I just wanted to ask as well. Um, and I'm really sorry if this, because obviously your child is here. But did either of you, Stephanie or Stephen, see what happened? I didn't see anything. I'm sorry. I, I just heard a bang and I heard Steven start to open up the door. I saw everything! Steven, we talked about this. No, I did! I really did! I was sitting inside and I heard a bang! I opened up the door and I saw a man running towards some house. I don't even know. He ran over that way but she hit the floor and man, it was loud and then there was a girl
girl, she came up wearing the black mask, and she goes, ah! And then here we all are. You, so you saw the man. Um, uh, do you, did you know what the man looked like at all? It was dark. He was black because he wore a whole black thing on himself. Everything about him was black. You couldn't see anything, and it was really dark. And there was a loud bang. And then she hit the ground, and then the other girl came up, and she went, ah! And then here we all are. You have exhausted this NPC dialogue. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Including Stephanie? He just powered down. So just the kid. The kid is just going to continue. Well, Any no. question, he will repeat his line. Every uh, what about single Stephanie? time. Uh, you look at Stephanie, she goes, that's absolutely, yes, yes, you, you got it. You got, like I said, I, I was asleep. Uh, but this little one right here, he's always awake, sees everything. As this conversation always continues. And sorry to bother you with this final question. Uh, or maybe not final question. But do you recognize that golden uh, D uh, that is... Looks like a necklace or oh. an amulet. Yeah, I um, I at least notice it's uh very nice looking, very shiny. Um, and you already said that you, it had a D on there. Um, I don't know anyone who specifically would have anything like that. I don't know if the people around here really have that kind of money, unfortunately. Um, but no, sorry. Very. I I close my eyes and go. It's fake. It's worth shit. And I try to move past it and go. Yeah. yeah. Very. She's in character. She's in character. Yeah. <laughs> very expensive. That type of yeah. that. Yes, this is worth a lot. Who would? Oh, it's probably worth somewhere in the range of I would guess maybe fifty thousand gold. Wouldn't. You say, ma'am? Yeah, it's a lot of money. About 50,000 gold. Five, five, zero, zero, zero. I thought your dialogue was done. <laughs> so I saw a man. He was wearing all <laughs> black at <laughs> night. Um, may we also search uh, your belongings? You sure may. What do you have in your pockets here? I have... I have, and he reaches in, he pulls out a paper clip, and lollipop. You keep the lollipop in your pocket. That's, that's all he's got. That's, he's just that's the first thing I clock. I go, you Can got I have the paper clip. The, the oh, dude, you get, he gives you the paper clip, and the lollipop is Sweet. like, as he's pulling it out, it's Sweetheart. like stuck to his pants. D don't, pulls it please. Out. You, you the hair. Don't. Nope, this is yours now. You asked for it. Mom smiled and she told me you're gonna love this. It's strawberry. You'll love it. Thank you. You should take it. It's my favorite. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. you like it? Uh, yeah. I eh? and he just, just no no all over it. I, there I, now I, it's oh. it's ready to go. It's nice and wet. Now you should try it. No. Um. This is actually. Gonna Otherwise, be I'm gonna I fuck just... with the entire organization. Look it. <laughs> <laughs> Kid just looks at you. I'm just kidding with you. Um, I look at him really closely. Are you a fucking halfling? Are you he's a fucking, fucking halfling? <laughs> <laughs> look at, I look at those stubbles. You fucking little shit. She has you. You look at the lady. She's been <laughs> casting like disguise self on him this I entire him. time. I look at him. I go, you fucking little shit. I know it was you. <laughs> <laughs> you wish it was me, you long legged bitch. <laughs> hey, Steven, we talked about this. Shut up, baby. Reaches around. <laughs> Our investigation's over. We going back inside. He turns around, walks away. <laughs> uh. One question since they Our did, dialogue is exhausted. Since they did bring out it's very expensive. Uh, yes. Who would be able to afford something like this or Oh my god, I'm so glad you asked. Well, shut up. You fucked your lines up. And she she just ushers him back inside. I'd love to be able to tell you that, but unfortunately we're from out of town. I forgot my accent. So sorry. We're from out of town and well, we're just staying at a friend's place for the night. Um, 
normally at this point I'd like to offer you if you'd like to come inside and snoop around, but since our cover's already blown, and he just she just kind of stares at him, we clearly aren't the people you're looking for. Sorry. Okay, I'm dead. Good luck. And she walks inside, closes the door. <sighs> you know, Phoebe, I... You couldn't keep your fucking trap trap for five minutes! <laughs> You know, Phoebe, I used to have a sharpened eye about these things, but uh, I guess I'm still a little rusty. That's okay. I got a paper clip out of it, though. I am going to pause the clock. As we are now going to go in sync with this timer, we're going to go over to Thrax and Mist. Okay, and Thrax. Do you want to do the talking, or do you want me? You can talk. <laughs> this Thanks. Is this is not my fourth. <laughs> I smell no blood. I hey, smell no gunpowder. It is worthless. Of just course. <laughs> it's, just, just uh, it's just a hoax. It's just literal sprinkles. <laughs> yes. I'm just like. Yeah, like. <laughs> Thrax is just up there. He's like, there's nothing real about this. It's fake. This is all a sham. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the butcher. You go to the I'm butcher. Gonna... Big and... pop belly has on his nice butcher's apron. I'm gonna be oh, bad sorry. cop, and yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mean mug people. You if anyone is shifty, if anyone is like trying to hide something, I'm doing okay. that. I'm really not even listening oh, yeah. to what I, he's I figured about. that we were gonna be the intimidation group, and they were gonna be the oh yeah, we're we're hearts, you know, whatever. You walk up to this butcher. He is yeah. a shark man, big, hot belly, Ooh. large, jagged, sharp, razor sharp teeth. Black beaded eyes, muscular arms, has a little anchor on one and a bite mark out of the other one. He holds in, in his right hand a bloody to meat cleaver and he has blood all over him. You look up, he smells like ash, cigarettes, and meat. Looks at you. <sighs> yeah, what can I do you for? Uh, hello, my name is Mist. I am from the Founder's Exam. I am going to be asking you a couple of questions. First, starting That's with fine. your name. My name? You want my name? Really? Really? Swim yes. Block? Boo Luger. Boo apostrophe L-U-G-E-R. Boo Luger. And I know shit what's going on with this woman. I don't know anything that's going on with this little girl. I just want to get back to work. I got a lunch rush coming on real early in the morning. I'm going to I'm gonna nudge my uh, my my companion and I'm going to and I'm going to give an insight check to this man. <laughs> I think he knows a little bit more than what he's letting on. Okay, well, you know. <laughs> this man I just believe. wants to get back home. This is twice now. Home. I know. So what? You just want my name? You know the profession? I'm a fucking butcher. Can you not figure that out? I No, I got that. Have you ever seen or know anything about this, like, the pendant that uh, we have? It has a little D on it. Now, I ain't seen anything like that before, but you know who fucking did it? It's the goddamn farmer right over there. The farmer walks up. Boy, hell no! You know I ain't do nothing like that before. This big fucking shark piece of shit. That boy right there, he's hold the on, one who done did on. it. No, no, hold I ain't on. holding on. He's there sitting there threatening my entire being. Uh -uh, I know my rights, and I'm going to stand up for him because I ain't standing down to him. He's been trying to pull this shit since the day I met him, since the day I moved in. Hey, he's been trying to frame me for some shit ever since I moved in. He's just mad because I be selling more product than he does. No, he's selling more product than I am. That's some Black, fucking bullshit. I be selling more anything than he does. Let me tell you right now. <laughs> All right, you start behind this line. You start behind this line. <laughs> <laughs> But if I had my gun on me, in fact, and he starts pulling out a fucking whoa, gun whoa, whoa, right whoa, 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 whoa. now. He pulls out a nine gun. And then I start blasting. Pow, 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 pow. <laughs> boy, I tell you what, boy, he fucking brains out right now. And he starts whoa, just waving put, it in the air. Sir, that put the weapon nice down. Script. The that weapon nice down. Script. Gun safety. Oh, it's safe. Because <laughs> yeah, I'm this. holding it. <laughs> May I see it? It is a fine weapon. You may sure as hell not. I am trained on the gun safety. 
I don't believe you are. You've already speak. Ain't no legal English. He puts it away. Well, I do, and we are officers billions. of the law. I am going to need... Oh, you ain't no officers of the law. Hell no. Y'all are just in training. You think I'm going to be giving you anything? Yeah, you see, he's a tough fucking bitch. Clearly, he's the one that he has a fucking murder weapon. You shut your dumb ass up. You know you want well, he's I want to he's you fucking the around, game. I'm going to fucking steal it off of him and take a look at it. You may certainly try. Slide a hand disadvantage... Fucking negative penalties. He's, all he's not around. paying attention to me. Hold on here. He's holding he's the weapon. Weapon. That guy. He's literally holding it in his fucking hand oh, as oh, he's holding it. His hand. I thought he Go put ahead. it back in his fucking. He's never gonna take his hand off this weapon. Never in, in a million fucking years. Sure. <laughs> let's fuck it. Let's go for it. Go ahead. Wow. I was gonna give it to you at a twenty. Damn. You reach over. You grab at it, you pull it out. As he starts to pull his hand up, you come with it. It comes off his finger, and his finger grips onto it. Rapsar goes, Now what the darn hell is going on here, boy? And points hand. it no, no. right fucking at you. Hand. Hand. I am. He just, he knocks it up. The moment you touch it at the bottom, mm -hmm. Thrax, there's a hole at the bottom. As you hit the bottom of it and it shoot and it goes up, there's no clip inside. Boy, I tell you, you better be happy I didn't pull the fucking trigger. He does not know that you know that. Listen here. I'll fucking do it. Go on. <laughs> Hold that shotgun. Don't be touching I've... it. Whoa, hey, hold on I... there, boy. Oh, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hold I on there. I believe you have been up far too late. You should go home. Ah, you know, honestly, I do believe you are pro probably, properly, probably correct. I will. Take are you drunk, sir? Elsewhere. Uh, no, 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 I'm definitely not drunk. No, no, he's not drunk. No, he's just a piece of shit. Honestly, no, I think what? you should put the I weapon away. Name. I think the weapon's yep. more than, yes. I think the I weapon's more than fine. Yes. You ain't got it. Yes. Okay, all right, we're going back. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you very much. This is the sharp guy. It's like, yeah. thank, thank you very much. You know, this piece of shit. I don't think he's that much of a piece of shit. That's Samuel. I think he about just shit himself just now. So that's Samuel. I think Samuel. I think you're gonna go back inside. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna go back inside. You're. You're right. And he puts the gun away. All right. Okay. All right. We're good. Okay. He's new founders. God damn. And he mm -hmm. walks away. <laughs> um. Thrax is going to use his psionics to tell Mist that, hey, the gun's empty. This ain't the guy. We're good. <laughs> Look, uh, to get back to it, <laughs> kind of looks at you too. Yeah. Look, uh, I'm, I'm innocent. I've been working all day. Uh, I, uh, well, okay, you've been working all day I, into the night, correct? Yes, yeah. Tell I, I me worked. what you tell me what you remember of the incident. Shit, boy, I was working on it. I had already slaughtered my fifth cow of the night. Now you gotta understand just how many fucking cow we're dealing with. Five cow, that's a lot of cow. All right. What was your question? What did you see? What did you see? Or oh, hear? I didn't see nothing. All I was hearing is, Bzz! I was using my bandsaw to cut this thing apart, lobbing it up with the old chopper chopper. All of a sudden, I start hearing a knock at the door. Boom, boom, boom. Lo and behold, people show up. I walk on out. Here we are. In fact, it was the farmer that knocked on my door. The farmer immediately kind of looks back on his porch. Yes, I did. I sure did. I knocked on his door. Why? But I know he did it. He ran back inside. 100%. I heard the little boy saying that it was a short, stubby little fuck. He didn't say it was a short, stubby fat fuck. Well, he's a kid. Did you see anything? Me? Yes, Samuel. Did you see Oh, I... I, I saw the whole thing. I saw him do it. He did it. He did the whole thing. I saw it after the boy talked about it. Don't pull out the gun. So, you heard of gunfire. You yep. came out. 
Uh huh. Saw him run into his. Oh, oh yeah. And then you followed him to the door, knocked yep. on the door, and brought him out. Came out with my pistol, ready to blow his fucking brains out. But you know he was just covered in viscera as he normally is. I couldn't see his the black mask that he normally has. You should search his home. Shark bait, ooh ha ha, over there. Would you let your yeah, home go on, sir? Well, hell no, I know my rights. You ain't walking into my home. You want my guns? Go get some. Come on, man. You want my guns? Go my property. Get some <laughs> <laughs> the butcher looks at you both. You are more than happy to search my establishment. Mm. Come on in. And he opens the door. Mm -hmm. Do you want to search? Search. I do have a black apron and black clothes I own upstairs. I guess I'm the murderer because I wear black. No, you're the murderer because you wear black and you're covered in fucking blood, dummy. I'm going to walk in and take a look at the ground to see if there's any recent, like, Started. Tracks or anything is to is he about, is he literally in the middle of butchering a cow? <laughs> he is literally in the middle of litter of yes butchering a cow. Yep. Okay. Uh, how many does it look like he's had multiple carcasses in here? Does his story oh, add dude. up? Oh yeah, this is a real genuine butcher shop. Okay. Um, Do I smell gunpowder? Pretty in awful here? in here too. <laughs> you sure don't. We're good. Thank um, you for I your do. assistance. Yeah, I mean, come on. You ain't doing that much of an investigation. You should look around a little more. All right? Make sure I'm innocent. I don't want any of this shit coming uh, back to bite me. <laughs> I want to go... I want to go up and uh, take a look at his wardrobe, see if there's any... If it, if it does make sense. If he actually, of course, has black of course. Clothing, if you're so. both, if one of you's coming up, you both got to come up, or you got to stay outside. This is my home. I can't be watching both of you. <laughs> All right, thank right. you. You both walk upstairs, and he stands at the at the door as you walk in. Uh, it's just like an upstairs apartment. Um, all one room. Looks like there's a bed. There's a a fridge. Looks like there's a little coat rack, and of course his uh, little closet and personal belongings toiletries, etc, etc. Do me a favor. Roll an investigation check. Could I get advantage? Well, it doesn't matter here. Who's, who's better at it? Because it's either we both do one at regular or we get one. Okay, so we're in the same boat. Uh, do you want to roll it or do you, do you want me to roll it at advantage? Uh-huh. Well, if they're both the same, how about we each roll if there's no bonus yeah, difference? Yeah, you're, right. hey, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> fuck it. Go for it. Oh! oh! Okay. What a fun thing to witness. Very nice fucking... Thrax. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're looking around. A natural 20. Very you nice. Are... You're looking under his bed. You even see a slight hole in the mattress. You... Open it up and go say, hey, 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 hey. And you see a, uh, a large little hoard of gold. Makes you smile. You're looking around on you. Sniff, sniff. Ah, 375. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're like, mm, yes, yes. <laughs> a poultry sum, but more than I. You look over inside of the, clo the coat closet as well. Where mist is. Both of you look, and you do find black clothes, but you also find other clothes, many different types of things, but nothing that actually creates a full set. You have to go to multiple points in the house. In fact, you have to even find pants that match it. You eventually stumble upon just the washing machine itself. The black shirt that he has has been collecting dust. He hasn't worn that thing in forever. All black. Yeah, it doesn't fit. Mist, as you're looking around, though, you go over to the washing machine. You look up and you look out the window. And you see something you didn't think you'd see. 
You lean over, you slide the window open, you, you look out. Next door to the butcher, someone you haven't talked to yet, none of you have. But on the side of this house, you see a marking, scratches, something you can't read from this height. But something's there. Something's on this house. Psst. Close the window. On this house? The one we're in, or the one that I see? Different house? Okay. Um, uh, the height that I need to see it at, does it need to be higher or lower? You just need to, you just need to get out. Get out. Get out and okay. go see it. Uh, uh, Honestly, I'll... you can hop. You can hop out the window if you want. I'm just gonna it's hop out the window. Fuck it. I'll I'll, I'll go it. up tell Fuck. Drax. I'll go up tell Drax. Be like, hey, I'm gonna go hop out this fucking window. Um, I see something. All right, uh, I'm gonna follow a thread. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna go follow a thread. Um, you're more than welcome to come along. I'll meet you um, out front. Um, Anther, uh, take a flowing and back up mist. I will. I will finish up inside. <laughs> Understood. Rex, you I begin to finish up outside. And wave my arms like, follow me. Am I facing him? <laughs> yes. I feel like eventually I'd notice. Your attention. <laughs> come, come, come. Like, I just try and like pull you to like, we gotta go back there, to there's, there's one hand doing this, there's two hands doing this, and then the other ones are like, come on, yeah. let's go. Let's, let's go. All right. I just start following him like, Lead on, you start I guess. following Mist. You hop out the window. The shark man walks up. Whoa, whoa, hey, what the fuck? Is she okay? And then Thrax are like, it's cool, it's cool. Let's get the fuck out of here. You're clean. You're good to go. You leave. Don't worry. I have to pause the clock for this as you walk out. Mist, you hop out the window. And you start looking at this house. I'm not going to make you roll because you know exactly what you're looking for. And as you walk up and looking at it, this is Thieves Camp that's scratched onto this house. And it says... Tonight. C. The letter C. Tonight. Chris and Dave are out murdering people and dealing drugs. Chris wins. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm still stuck Answer loses, on drug Chris dealer wins. Dan. Or whatever Luke said earlier that made me laugh. Drug dealer Dan. <laughs> Anthony and Flowen all arrive at the side of this building. This home. I'm looking around like, why was I dragged over here? <laughs> <laughs> I am too, like, okay. Can you, can you go ask um, Cassandra how to spell her name? I look at flowing. I just look at Miss real confused. They're on the wall here, and I'll I'll start like running my hands over like the scratches and stuff, and showing them like what it is. You hear a man off in the distance. You got twenty minutes left. Twenty minutes. I walk over to Phoebe. I don't know how to spell Cassandra, and they asked me how to spell Cassandra. I can't I, I, right. I, look at, I look at Phoebe, oh, and I blink, and I go... <laughs> okay, look back uh, at Flo. Um, well, what sucks is I think there's more than one way to spell it. It could be a C. It could I just walk K. over to Cassandra. <laughs> How do you spell your name? If you don't mind me asking. Oh my goodness gracious! Hello there, you have the most adorable little feline there! He starts scratching at the cat. Don't touch it without permission. Name? <laughs> my name? Well, it's Cassandra. Cassandra, however you want to say it. C A S S. I start walking away. D R. No, A. As you walk away, walk back to the other goons in the alley. I wanted to pet that poor little cat. You had your chance, Mitch, to say the P, but you, you, I, you pussied out at the last moment. I really did. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I, I tried. I was hoping no one else would. You back, go back and relay the information to Mist. 
Yep. Cassandra is spelled with C A S S. I stop him right there. I have a few questions for Cassandra. Um. Okay. I'll back me up here, and I'll go. I'll go relay this information to Narori as well, so that she can decide what she wants to do from here. As you start to walk to up, sense of letters, but it's thieves camp. As you as you start to walk by, a um a man turns over and looks at you, very tall, half orc. Excuse me. Um, yes. Is there something wrong with my home? There seems to be something scratched onto the side of it. Something that is supposed to signal somebody else. Uh, someone scratched on my fucking house. I'll go and show him. Flo is just standing there looking at the wall really confused because this is Thieves Scan. I don't understand Thieves Scan. I'm like... How do letters work? This is so weird. Apparently, you don't understand regular <laughs> letters at, at all. I don't. Yes, this so, is these camp, which I is even read. worse because it's like fucked up letters that make Bucky, he, talk about he dyslexia. This is no lexia. Know. You're I'm, fucked. I'm completely illiterate. <laughs> I've told you this. Man, Flo and he, unable yeah. to speak looking at it like, what is this? <laughs> yeah. It's like, I, I know I don't know how to read, but this Let is Let me take these two know, blind men read. into this room oh, and tell oh, them, oh, ask I'm what they see. You you walk up and you and this half orc walk up and look at it and goes, Why the <laughs> hell did someone write on my house? What the fuck is this? It doesn't even say anything. It's graffiti. It, it's it reads tonight. Uh, it's it means something to me. Bullshit. It reads scratch, scratch, scribble, scribble. What the fuck? <laughs> you said there's a skin here. I like somewhere. this guy. I don't see it though. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look at Anter and Flowin. Get his name, profession, um, what he saw. My name's I... Doramore. I'm a blacksmith. Why the fuck is there writing on my house? Hey, Anter, can you tell Phoebe to get Narori to come over here? Wow, that's a Dude, that's a long list that of that chains that. just to get to <laughs> one person. <laughs> Anter, go get to Phoebe. Anter, can you contact Phoebe to get Narori to tell them to come over here? It's the telepathic it's links a is all wonderful it is. sentence. <laughs> it's it's really funny. Wow, okay, the... I would imagine we're probably going to our next yeah, little are... thing before he even yeah, gets to us. We we will go to your next little thing. You wander over the very next person that you two see is a very a large man, man, maybe about six foot tall, a businessman. Looks oh, at both six of you, foot. human. Yeah. All right, what the hell was going on here? I've already, nope, nope, don't even say a word. Robert, I work all day. I work at a bank. I'm very fucking important. And not important enough for this. This is the equivalent of jury duty to me. All right? So what the fuck do you want? Um, <clears throat> if he's like, like already feeling bad and intimidated by it, I just give you a pat on the shoulder. Can you not curse in front of her? That'd be great, and especially in front of me. I get a bit testy. I do apologize. All right, no need for any of that. Look, 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 things have just been going on. All right, a lot of things. Let's just get this done, okay. Exactly. Hey, I can just go a few, away and not have to be here anymore. Just a few simple questions. You said you're you work at a bank. I do. Then you know the value of that piece of jewelry that was found on the victim. There's a piece of jewelry on him. I don't know. I haven't seen it. I would have given it to you. It's with you. You go and grab sure. it. You bring it back. We're we're in time. Or time like season. Phoebe, or Phoebe could just sketch him. it out and be like, yeah, "Okay, we we bring it back. We show." Sure. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Plopping you your front fucking Phoebe Skyrim, <laughs> just fucking yeah, throwing yeah. the face. <laughs> look at it. This right here, uh, probably. Uh, I don't know if you were to ask me. Probably about. 
maybe fifty thousand, something in that range. Okay, I, but I, I get really close. But you know it's fucking fake, right? You know it's fake. I just need you to say it. Okay, thank you. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so 50,000. Who do you know anyone that might be capable of affording such a thing or purchasing or asking someone to you make can it? Ask me if I know someone who could purchase something like that. You are a banker, so yes, you might be familiar with some people. I'm the only person on this block who can afford something like that. I can afford several somethings like that. Now, let me ask you. Are you a bank teller? A banker? Are you the assistant I'm branch I'm not going to put up with this shit Are you for a another branch moment manager? calling me a bank teller. I'm a bank <clears throat> spokesperson. Then you can't afford this. He genuinely gets red in the face. You see his nose start to get red. and his As someone red. who used to work at a fucking bank. <laughs> Very bad time to try and bring I, up bank knowledge to me, I, motherfucker. <laughs> no. Yeah, he's, he's a teller. He's just embarrassed now. Mm -hmm. He's like... I... Make great money. You make minimum wage if you're a bank teller. I make more than minimum wage. Oh, I'm the manager. Sit you at the, the window. I I am so. Ooh, and he's just looking at you. Ooh, he fucking pulls up his little fucking his little pants. Tugs at his suit. Nora, you clock that suit. It's got stitches in it. Clearly, it's fine. It's he, he tugs it's it. He goes. Fucking, he pulls it. <laughs> you better slow down. No, <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I'm about to become the fucking Incredible Hulk. Gun. Oh, please don't be angry. Please don't be angry. Um, well, just, did you, you see anything? Did you see anything? Oh, I saw something. All right. Okay. 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 I'm just gonna take a few notes down. Thanks. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> it was dark. Okay. There was a bang. Yes. Okay. Yep. Maybe you should ask the kid. <laughs> Staring at Nori the entire well, eyes never unlocked. <laughs> Looking straight at um, him. What do you why do you what makes you say that? The kid sees everything. He stays up at night. That's very weird for someone to notice. Are you? Past? I'm not fucking having it with you, legs. <laughs> he's, he's legs. Like, <laughs> you I'm fucking start. Tall. She brushes wait, wait, back her hair. Ooh. Starts. Wait, 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 wait. How did you? How did you know that? He ding dong ditches me at five o'clock every morning. Every morning at five? Every morning at five. Oh, okay. What the How do you know it's the kid? After living on this block for three years, you kind of at one point wake up a little early and see the little bastard. Sorry, you said no bad words. Yeah. But it ain't a bad word if it's what he is. How do you, you would know that? more about that than you let on, don't you? Listen here, or I'll fucking make another one with you. What? Let's see <laughs> you <laughs> try. <laughs> and I grab him by the shirt. <laughs> 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 Lift him up. Oh, I'm gonna search him! Oh, I swear to God! Search. I'm gonna search! Hey! Hey! She's help searching me. him! She's help searching him! Help She's help searching me. him! <laughs> fucking founders! <laughs> you, you, see it. you see the man come up and she's like, Don't be harming the civilians or that'll be points off! Wham! I'm warning you! <laughs> what? Did they just fucking punch me? 
No, I thought you punched him. <laughs> no, I'm not punching no, no, him. No. He's just she's oh, okay, holding okay. him. Yeah, I'm not punching him. him. And I'm searching. Yeah. And you're like, you're I'm warning you, don't you be harming them civilians. And it's the guy with the timepiece, like, don't hey. be doing it. Hey, and she's searching him while I'm doing it. <laughs> yep. While I'm holding you search. him. Search. No investigation needed. You find a bank slip. Or I'm sorry, not a bank. Sorry. Woo-hoo! Actually, it is a bank slip. Blank check! It Let's looks- go! <laughs> <laughs> you you do find a, a um like a slip. For like a receipt paper, almost. Uh, that's roughly for right around fifty thousand gold chain. And as I'm holding him, I go, "I'm not into you guys like you." Kiss him on the forehead. I'm and then not push into long legged <laughs> shit. What? what the fuck? <laughs> 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 kind of looks at you a little bit. Split. I bet you won't come into room two oh six. Uh, I bet you won't take my so gun cool. by giving me a kiss. <laughs> Why don't you hit me? But but make Looks me feel safe. But <laughs> two oh six, we can. The word is <laughs> we can work this out. <laughs> Just the two of us. You. If you have that yeah, answer, actually does this, he goes. Fuck, because you're tall as shit. <laughs> Almost as tall as Thrax. Oh, I'll find the answer. Yeah, what you need. Move along, little oh, man. <laughs> Why'd you say make another one though? Is that, does that mean it's, like, mm-hmm. <sighs> it's all part of the game, mm-hmm. darling? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you find anything you find like that? Gun on him? <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. What did you say? Do you find anything else on him besides that? As we kind of step away, uh, I found a bank slip. He's staying in there. Thousand. We, I'm stepping away from him. I clearly state that. Yeah, no, no, no. He's just standing there. Is all. Yeah, but yeah, y'all were walking away. I found a bank slip for fifty thousand. I see her going like this. I go. Eh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and that's it. No weapons. No bullet casings. Nothing like that. I wasn't really angry. Just so you're aware. I couldn't tell, but maybe a little bit. <laughs> okay, uh, but. Like would it's PTSD, it, post traumatic teller disorder. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, could he be the murderer? Who can say? Um, and then I guess we see Flowin just fucking. Or who, who's coming up to get us? Was Flowin? Was it you, Flowin? No. So no, we're, you're we're just getting telly linked at this point. Message. I'm, I'm big. Um, uh, we're calling Phoebe. Like we need. Huh? No, we're playing telephone. Yeah. We're playing telephone. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Uh, hey, um, uh, this way, this way, this way, this way, we're being called. Okay, as we start walking away, I turn around and go, you don't leave! <laughs> it's fucking... Oh, I'll be here. Six. Two old six. <laughs> Two old six. Sometimes they think money is all they need. Oh, I got money. <laughs> so you got uh, on the way there, I go. So you found the receipt. And what exactly does it say? Me? Oh, it was just a pink slip. Well, usually when um, a slip like that, especially from a, a note from a bank. Mm-hmm. It was have a little note that says for rent, payment for this, payment for that. Oh. By uh, I'll take a look and see if I can get a name, if I can get money. Uh, the bank that he works at. It says payment for J. It says payment for J. Donkey Kong junk. 
Oh, banana. Oh, banana. <laughs> banana. Um, so that's all I know. Just payment for Jay. D J. Oh, we still don't know the victim's name. That's a good point. It's a corpse. <laughs> We need to know her name. <laughs> yeah, but being like, hey, do you know Mary Sue or whatever? Like, that does help. Well, if her name's Jenny, you know, it may matter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> it you, might um, have been a botched robbery. <laughs> you all converge <clears throat> at this point. The half orc staring at his, uh, the side of his building. It's like, but why? <laughs> I don't understand. Um, it's my house. Like, why would they scratch my house? We, we have I'm sure another I can smith paint over, coming. but like that's such yep. a pain in the ass. Right. We have Hello. another smith coming with a, with a pendant. Oh, I need Hello. You to take a look oh, down. great. We got more people here. Hello. How's it going? Good. How are Hi. you? Norori, this is you know, uh, Doromir. Very... Doromir. Do I recognize said smith? Uh, you do not. You're not a real smith, are you? I am actually. Are you? I'm Where do training. you work? I'm not really a smith. Okay. Uh, I work at Hellfire. I've never seen you there. I just started a few days ago. Are you Norori? <laughs> you can't do that to me, Mitch. <laughs> I sure can. Yes. Yes. You two are friends? I don't know him. I have heard a lot about you. The boss is really keen on trying to get you to move over. Anyways, I... <sighs> we can talk about that later. We have things going on today. Look. <clears throat> yes, I am a smith in training. Yes, mm -hmm. I have my smith tools. Yes, etc. Mm -hmm. My name is Doramar. Doramar. Okay. Did you see the I... murder? The murder. No, like I said, I just got back. As Nori can attest, my boss, he works in the... Mo well, mainly at night, because he's a night owl. <coughs> but mm. I have night shift. All right. Um, just, if you don't mind... Um... Is this actually your home? Did they actually scratch this into your wall? Is this... Yes, this is actually my home. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Nothing paint can't fix. Uh, quick question. Um, they... I'm guessing they... I'm not going to try to step out of line. Do you know the victim at all? Oh, right, yeah, shit, the victim. Um, And he, he looks over, like, gets back in his persona. He's like, yeah, the victim. Uh, cute girl, always walking around here. I think her name was um, Alexis or something. Maybe Alex. Alex, Ale yeah, Alexis. She goes by Alex. <sighs> I'm going to ask. Did you ever get anything from you? Luke. No. Because I have to ask Luke, have you been keeping track of all the names? Yes. Can you get the first letter of everything we have gathered, and <laughs> just in case? One of each. Well, a, a, C, Dormir? Is his name Dormir? Yes. yes. No. 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 Dormir. D O R O M O R E. I will go ahead and tell all of you right now, that's very funny. That is not the answer. Just making sure. I'm covering my fucking tracks. <laughs> I'm a little shit I mean, when it comes to I that. Love I, that. Mean, I love that. I will say we do have an A, B, C, D, S. Okay. S, S. <laughs> so it doesn't really do anything. Just making sure. I will. We have a J. Okay. So we got, we got the J from the, the slip, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got the D from the letter. We got the C from the thieves can't. Uh, then the question starts to 
arise that since he doesn't know well he said he recognized the victim that she's she walks around right Let's see if he recognizes mm-hmm. the pendant she walks around that she usually That's fine. she's a thief okay um So, this used to belong to you, and yeah. Miss, you stated that you recognize this. Oh my correct? God! I have okay. I leave immediately. I'm gonna go to Cassandra. I <laughs> sorry, my brain clicked. You leave. And I just Nori, please continue. The you leaving. I <laughs> was gonna ask Miss something, but he just walked out. I'm following. Yep, Miss. Miss just walks away. We have uh, very little Cat time. Timer on. Yeah, Mist, we have very little away. time, but Mist. it's a go Mist. ahead, Miss. No, Miss, this is this is huge. What you doing? Uh, I'm gonna go up to I'm Cassandra. You. you walk right up to her. She looks at you. Oh well, if it isn't the mighty. I need you to not. I need you to give me straight answers. Your husband's name. I just wanted to know your name. My late husband's name. You want to yes. know my dead husband's. Name. Yes, I do. Click, click. Zachary. I know it's very hard. Zachary. Zachary. I'm sorry. She for actually your loss. begins to get red in the eyes. She said, Zachary. <laughs> well. Well. Why do you need to know hey. my husband's name? I had the hunch. It. Uh, you tell know. me, and she like grabs on you. Please tell me. Why'd you need to know his name? We were putting clues together, and I was trying to see if uh, I could connect him in any way to perhaps. <gasps> He's been dead for three years. <gasps> Let's go of you. Start crying. That's a very specific number. I'm on his death every day. Every day. Three years. 365 days a year. I wish I was dead 365 days a year. (laughs) She looks at you. It's horrible. How did your husband die? <laughs> Do you have any other questions for me, young man? Well, then don't rely on the death of my husband. For me, Miss, remember. Why did you ask this question? <laughs> Line of logic. Uh, I'm not. Name start with J, and then I'm, it just. I'm not gonna lie. I think I was on to something. The very fact that you left the room, I completely forgot what I was going to ask Mist. God damn it. I'm not even shitting. I forgot what train of thought I was on. It's completely gone now. Who has the gold chain, by the way? I feel like that's been handed around. It is completely fucking gone. George... Completely forgot what the fuck he was going on about. This is wonderful. I'm trying so hard to recall what the fuck I was going to ask you, and I can't fucking fathom. Thormor looks at all of you and goes, If there's nothing else, I'd just like to go inside. Let's take a look. We're inside. We're outside. When did we go outside? I thought we were inside looking at your room. We've never been inside. <laughs> I thought we were looking at the scratching on his wall. Yeah. On the outside of his wall. We're looking yeah. at the squat scratching on the outside of his walls. Of his it's not in his room. It's on, no. on the outside. Then he shouldn't fucking care. We're in an alleyway. <laughs> it's not part of your situation. Wait. Um, oh, um, I remember now. Black outfit. I think. In Cassandra. There it is. There it is. George thought go. No, no, no. Continue because I don't think this no, is the one. Forget. 
No, no, I need. Go ahead. I don't Sorry, think this is the Phoebe. One. <laughs> Phoebe, continue. Really? Yes, c- continue, well, please. And comes out. Fifteen minutes on the clock. Fifteen <laughs> minutes on the clock. <laughs> Come on, TikTok, clock <laughs> ticking. Someone give well, me the gold chain. You I'll lost see it if again. Pop it open. <laughs> It's the letter D. The gold chain is the letter D. Who has guidance? (laughs) No. Uh, Continue, Phoebe, for God's sakes. Continue. Chris, I'm letting you know right now it is the letter D. It is a rope chain. It's the letter D. There's nothing more with the chain. It's not like a locket. God damn it. It's not a locket. Everyone thinks it's a locket. It's just the the letter letter D. D. It is the letter D. This chain has the letter D on it, and it's this the is letter Dave D. Dave the drug dealer's car. Or fucking Dave. Drug dealer Dan. The only thing drug was, like, Dan. hey, like, if the boy saw somebody or whatever with, like, like a figure running, that it could have been Cassandra, because Cassandra is currently the only other person that's wearing all black. She is. Um, then the question we'll ask is today's the day of her husband's anniversary, death, death anniversary. You can always go ask her. I'm just throwing this out there just for, I need to remember what the fuck I I was trying to ask Miss because it was actually pretty fucking important. I can't fucking remember. I do want to take a second I'm psychically connected to Anter. Anything you say out loud can go to me immediately. No, not unless Anter tells it to you. Uh, well, also, I'm, I'm with you. Oh, yeah. Okay. I followed you to Cassandra and was clicking and clacking <laughs> behind you. That's so like, cool. why did you ask her this question? Like, <laughs> I didn't realize you were in, in character. That's yep. That's why I, I thought you were just asking me, Hunter, and I was like, no. Okay. Sorry. She's refusing to talk to Andrew, though. <laughs> I, I think most people will. That's why I've not got up to anyone with the book. George, <laughs> let's look over the facts. The last thing that uh, you were talking about was the fact that we had C, J, and N. Uh, not N. Sorry, D from the pendant. We can link D to Dora Moore. Uh, it was his pendant. What is he wearing? Was, by wait, the way, D to Dora Moore, C for Cassandra. Oh, fuck. Um, sorry. Dora Moore. Uh, hmm. said that he's seen this the victim, right? Yeah, I've seen her a lot. Was well, she the, looking her towards I've her building? Uh, I mean, often, sometimes. Well, she would. Okay, so she was scouting. Okay, was she? I'm. Still trying to recall that fucking information I was going to ask, but um, was she ever with anyone or was she by herself? Every now and again, she was with the small boy. She babysat him, but. Okay, um, thank you. Oh, you know what? Yeah, actually, uh, she normally likes to hang out with. Um, oh, what's his damn name? I think Tailmont, the dragonborn. What? She just small favors for him for him every now and again. Tailmont? Who's next door? Who? Tailmont. That's Tailmont. probably the last person you haven't spoken with yet. I'll I'm speak sure, with I'm him, pretty sure. Pretty sure he might not even be home yet. Phoebe. Phoebe, and I grab your shoulder and I pull you in and I look at you. Look, I'm the y'all boy. go do whatever you want. I'm gonna go inside. The if you boy. need anything, let me know, okay? Please do something about Thank the you. boy. That little halfling little freak. <clears throat> what do you want me to do about him? Inform everyone. Inside. He may be a scapegoat. He may not be. But I'll talk to Tailmar. I'll see what I can gather. If anyone would like to help me, I would. <laughs> I would greatly appreciate it. And I need help, I hear. Fuck you! <laughs> I've been sat here in silence this whole time. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. That's You're good. the last person she wants. What's what's the plan? So the DM can start the clock real quick. Uh, it's been ticking, but I paused it for a second. If you're fine, Phoebe, if you can inform everyone. 
to talk mm-hmm. to the halfling. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. I think my train of thought has something to do with her scouting this situation and uh, robbing it. She might have came to the alley to get the message to break into the house. Uh, if we can find her informant and possibly copy down the thieves can't and show said boy the thieves can't and see if he recognized the lettering or any of the Mm -hmm. suspects to see if they just offhand recognize it, that might be a good tell sign of someone who was working with her. Uh, They might have tried to kill her to possibly, possibly, take what she had or something. Who knows? Either way, I'll talk to Tail more in the interim while you do what you guys do. All right. Nori, you're going to go over to Tail more. Phoebe, you're going to do whatever you want after this. Nori, you go over to Tailmont's house. Did you say Delmont? Delmont. Tailmont. Dude, I keep hearing a D and Google me like, this is drug dealer Dan. I gotta fucking run him down. So, you, you go to Dan. Tailmont. So, Tailmont is part of this situation now that we're being, now that he's being looped into it. Got his name. I'll ask him. Just so we can make this quick. I'll ask him if he recognized the victim. I'll ask him if so he... So you go up to his house and knock on the door to see if he's there? Yeah. Because he's not. Dorm, uh, sorry. Dormore did say that he's probably not home yet. Is his door unlocked? <laughs> I'm going to check something in my inventory really quickly. That's sure. a folder file. Uh, one moment. One moment. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to do with what I have. Get a whetstone. You do have a crowbar. Oh, I do have a crowbar. Fuck it. Crowbar. Where you pry the door open, try Oh, we ball! <laughs> you... I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with this. <laughs> Boom! You smack that door and it flies open. What's inside? She cracks her neck. <sighs> Take a breath. It's a very small apartment. Not Take much to breath. Move at all. Take a breath. She starts to walk. I'll look around the goddamn place. Oh, roll an investigation check for me. Um, sure. May I? Uh... <laughs> it's too late. I'm dead. If if that's the case. Investigation, please. Oh, hold on. What no, else would I'm, you I'm be doing? No, 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 no. That's like you should have tried. You should have tracked. I'm like, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> if that was the case. No, I'll give it an investigation. There Ooh. you go. Big number. You, you look around this home. <laughs> Looking around, you can see that it's a very ordinary and small apartment. Not much to note at all. Pots and pans litter the area. No real lighting. Curtains on the walls. Small table, bed, fridge, stove, etc., etc. in the one room. Leads into a couple others, maybe a single bedroom, bathroom, etc. Just as you're about to leave, you look at the door on the ground that you just broke and you scratch the back of your head. As you go to grab it and pick it up to at least put it back on there, you notice several scratchings on the inside of the door. You have no idea what they are. Well, guess what, Mitch? 
Can you take a guess about what, what I'm about to do? There's two possibilities. Can I guess? <laughs> oh, by all means, Matt. What do you think I'm going to do? Eight minutes! Eight door minutes! Door and to mist. I'm carrying that yep. door to mist. Nailed it! <laughs> yep. You carry the door to mist. <laughs> what a <the> fuck. <laughs> mist. I, it won't even be fucking two hands. It'll be just one arm, like, just situated yep. under my arm. Mist, you look at this door. No role needed. You speak the language. Oh, it happens tonight. Jay. Wait. D, J, J. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, it happens tonight. C. Sorry. Broke me with carrying the door. It's Cassandra. What was the boy's name? Steven. Steven. Or Steve? Steven. Steven. Okay. It's Stephen. 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 Okay. Stephen. The other people's names? With a C? There's a lot of them. I know. Uh, there's Cassandra. A uh, the victim is uh, Alexis. Um, Dora Moore is the blacksmith. Mm -hmm. How do you spell Stephanie and Stephen? No, Stephanie that's... and Stephen. S. <laughs> yeah, but there was there was the businessman. The businessman Robert. 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 Um, asking mm -hmm. because it sounds like le uh, a letter and a confirmation between two people, right? You have somebody uh, asking and receiving. Someone's communicating with themes can. They're going, tonight's the night. They put their initials, see, right? And then they respond, yes, J. So this is obviously two people communicating with each other. To Where's Rob the J? I think you're miscommunicating that. The no, it was, it was on the banknote. Yeah, the oh, bank J, you. but but the thieves can't wear C's. They were all C's. So basically, both, both, the bank was J. The C's. thieves can't is C. Thank you. Correct. So somebody's been communicating with whoever. Uh, maybe uh, the victim, right? They were communicating with the victim. Their initial most likely is C, but who knows? I have one one question. Um, why would the child know how much the pendant is? Why would he care? How? Why would he remember that number? Why does it matter to him? If he knows exactly how much that pendant is. That's what I was hoping you guys will ask before I bring the door to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and we will now turn it over to Phoebe. So we're going up to the tiny child's home. So he goes up to the tiny child's home. Uh, do I see anything? Is the child there? Child there? They're inside. <clears throat> you hear them going? bickering. The, the, oh, she stops. Nothing important. Just like, I can't fucking believe you blew your costume this entire time so fucking early. Then the, the, the little halflings inside there say, yeah, well, listen, you wouldn't have fucking getting it. You don't understand. They were fucking grilling me. Grilling me like fucking crazy. They're insane. They're insatiable. God damn, these new founders, they're crazy as shit, I tell you. And they, this just goes on. No good information. Uh, they're just they're just yelling at each other. Okay, so then she'll knock you on the door. You fucking idiot, you fucking bitch. You're just... Mom, someone's at mom, someone's at the door. <laughs> one one question. One question. Stamp, stamp, stamp. One very, very, yes. very good question. The scratchings on the door. At what height are they? If I were to set the door up like I was opening it, how high are they? Go set up the door for me. Game's paused. You go set up the door. I do have one Mr. more question after this. There. Miss Toto, are you again? Uh, I'm like five. Hold on. I don't think I wrote it down on my sheet. I'm like five, four ish. Right about your eye height. As you turn around to ponder, there's a lot more scratching on the inside of these walls. Counters. Some on the floorboards. 
etc. We'll unpack that in a second. But Phoebe, first off. Hi, I just have... <laughs> the door swings uh, open. Hi. Oh, sorry. Phoebe, right? Yes, Phoebe. Thank you uh, for remembering that. Come here, Thank little you. one. And you see she reaches over <clears throat> off screen, grabs child. You see a spell be cast through her, pulls him in. Go ahead, little one. <laughs> um, I have. Hi! I saw a man in black! I was just wondering if either of you um, could help me read this. I can! Cool. What does it say? It says. Mitch forgot! And he okay. accidentally deleted his note a while back and was really hoping no one was going to ask again. <laughs> you know okay. I think it's isn't it like to, tonight's the night C it says tonight yeah tonight C okay 